What is up? In this video, we are going to be talking about the three accounts that I believe you should consider opening. And these three accounts are what I like to call my holy trinity of finances. They have saved my behind so many times. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first account you should consider opening is a bills account. And just like it sounds, this is an account specifically for your bills. I have talked about this so many times on this channel and did like a whole breakdown of how I have my bills account set up. So I will link a video somewhere on the screen for you to check out next. But basically this account helps you to separate your bill money from your spending money and other non-essentials. And so with me, I recommend setting up a checking account that is how I have my bills account set up because obviously you're going to be paying bills as they come due from this account. So you don't want to get stuck with like a, a transfer or withdrawal limit and then get penalized for that. Now, if you don't already have a checking account that you are barely using that you could designate as your bills account, I recommend just opening up another checking account, a free basic checking account with the financial institution that you are already banking with. That way they already have your information it will be easier to open up and you are already familiar with that bank and then make a list of all of your expenses so all of the bills that you want to pay from this account and then make sure to include how much these expenses are costing you every single month if you need to make an educated guess girl make an educated guess use the average of like your past six bills to use that as the budgeted amount and then as you get used to paying bills from this bills account as well as budgeting these specific expenses it's going to become a lot easier to have a baseline for that expense that way you know you have enough money to pay the bill and I don't really recommend having a debit card for this account I have intentionally decided against a debit card for my bills account just because I do not want to be um, you know lured into making a purchase with these funds that are outside of the bills that I have planned for and this account account has saved me so many times because it does not matter how many times I go over budget or blow up a specific budget category I know that my bill money is left untouched so I know that I am going to be able to pay my bills even though I may have come 20 40 dollars over budget when it comes to personal spending and that is because this money is separated from that what I've got going on over there so even though a specific budget category may be blown up it does not affect your bill money. Now, piggybacking off of a bills account and why it's important to have a specific account for your bills, the next account I recommend you look into opening up is a personal spending account. So an account that is specifically for your spending money. This is your, I can do whatever I want to. I don't have to justify this purchase. I budgeted for this. I can go out and splurge as long as it's within this budgeted amount. And I can use this account for that. So I have a specific account for my spending money. And that was because I was so tired of blowing through other budget categories where when I was sharing an account that I just decided to separate it out. That was the safest thing for me. And I have gone back and forth with using like cash, cash envelopes um the last thing I think I left off when it came to like my vlogs was me going back to cash for my personal spending um I'm not it didn't work out I just do not think that cash is for me and if you are not really a cash person then this way be a better alternative for you just to have a specific account that way you know the funds in this account are for you to spend you will be able to go in and check this account hopefully you are checking your account balances like every single morning like when you pick up your phone to check Instagram and Facebook and whatever other social media platforms you're on be sure to add in checking your accounts into that routine and that way you know you know whatever account balance you're looking at that is what you have left so you will be able to tell by looking at this account balance you know whether you are doing good you're coming under budget you are within your budget 
or if you need to tighten up a little bit because your funds are just it's going really fast and you know your payday isn't for another week um, because this account is specifically for this one specific budget category the third account I recommend you consider opening is what is called a buffer account and this account acts as a buffer basically it's CYAs it acts to save your behind now doing all three accounts kind of they have the same objective it is to basically save your behind but this one really saves your behind because I see a buffer account as like a safety net it is your first line of defense when it comes to you going over budget somewhere that way you won't have to touch your emergency fund so the buffer comes before your emergency fund just in case you go over and it helps to minimize you taking the credit card out of your wallet to swipe for something because you literally ran out of cash and so with my buffer account I put about 80 to 100 dollars into this account it's direct deposited from my paycheck every single paycheck so every two weeks for me and the fund are just simply there to cover me if I come over budget or if I forget an expense so if you are new to budgeting maybe you're trying to get all your expenses together and you forgot one and that one comes due then you will have these funds to help offset that amount or if you are trying to get into the swing of budgeting especially when it comes to your personal funds and you're coming a little over you're trying to figure out what's a comfortable amount to budget for you and your lifestyle then you will be able to access these funds and once again it protects you from dipping into your emergency fund because your emergency fund is um, it's a little more strict it is specifically for emergencies you know you forgetting to uh, budget something that should have been budgeted from the beginning it's not typically seen as an emergency so it may not warrant you needing to withdraw those funds but that is where your buffer account comes in because it's not as strict it's just whatever you need if you come 10 20 dollars over if you forget something then you have those funds available to you to pull now when it comes to my buffer account i do have a debit card so i am not as strict as i am with my bills account and some of you may be wondering you know okay why not just put your buffer funds in your personal funds account and just keep those together um, i think that is playing with fire a little bit because with our minds whatever we see in our personal funds account if we see it up by like 50 100 dollars then it's going to be easy to convince ourselves to use that 50 to 100 dollars on personal things and that is not the purpose of this buffer account it's literally you know you are needing this money you have come over budget this is your last resort before going into your emergency fund or you know swiping your credit card and increasing your credit card balance and so it's to me it just makes me feel like I am a lot less tight like I am not feeling so suffocated knowing that I have these funds available to me in like a backup account to cover me should I need them and so it's just a lot less stressful especially for me uh, in this economy where things are really high you're a little nervous you're feeling like you know something may come out the woodworks or something may increase and then that's going to completely blow my budget but this helps to keep you within budget and so you're not feeling so unmotivated um, and feeling really down on yourself because you didn't do something right within your budget it just helps you to continue going on and it just gives you that little peace of mind that if something does go wrong or if you forget something you got those funds to back you up now as a little note and this is something that I really wish that I would have done with my buffer account and my spending account I really do wish that I would have opened them up both at the same bank and just set up the buffer account to cover my spending account just in case it goes in the negative or it gets zeroed out now i do have a little bitty savings connected to my personal spending account that i put money in every payday and if something happens you know if i am not timing um pending transactions right because I'll be honest I've done that from time to time and it zeroes out on my account or you know it may knock my account into the negative you know five ten dollars and then I'm hit with like a thirty five dollar overdraft fee to protect myself from that I have a little account that is attached to my personal spending account that will automatically send money over to my personal spending account like overdraft protection 
I really wish I would remember what's this specific credit union calls that uh, but anyway that's just the thing that I'm able to do with these two accounts and so it will just automatically put money over into that to keep me out of the overdraft um, and to make sure that that pending transaction goes through and so that's something I really wish that I would have done I wish instead of this little savings account I would have opened another checking account and had that set up through those two accounts because I just used for my buffer account like an old checking account that I wasn't really using and then I I just set up the direct deposit to go in there so that is something if you don't have these two accounts set up or you have two accounts with the same bank definitely see if they have that feature where you can have one as acting as like you know the little safety net and then when your spending account goes under a specific amount or goes into the negative it have it automatically send money over just to help you avoid those overdraft fees all right guys so that wraps up the three accounts that make up the holy trinity of my personal finances hopefully this was really helpful to you guys leave me down below any tips that you have that may help the next person and I will catch you guys in the next video